What is up, everybody? It is ADB95, and I'm in the commentary booth with uh, Great Sage Clock Roof. Hey, everyone! We are here solving, finally, this conundrum of a group that has been, uh, has our brains wrapped up to, to figure out who will qualify between Com, Chris, Kirowich, and Borealis. We have Com. And Borealis oh, ready to play. Sorry, sorry, <laughs> yeah, don't worry, don't worry. Uh, yeah, absolutely. This group has been an absolute mess to sort out. And finally, with this match, we, we are going to finally sort out who finally qualifies. Uh, of course, that's based on what we, what we assume to know to be the results of uh, the match that happened just a couple of hours ago. But for this sake, we're going to pretend that never happened. And just carry actually, on like that's not happened. Let me stop you right there. I was supposed to tell you before we started recording. Uh, yeah, this is going to be posted last, so we are uh, we are to assume that we know the result, and we do know. Chris won to one. Oh, oh, <laughs> you were keeping that. Yeah, secret sorry, I didn't. I did, I forgot to tell you. Sorry. <laughs> okay. <laughs> but yeah, uh, the guys are waiting for us, so we'll, maybe we'll talk about later. We're gonna go on the first map. There's railroad. The guys have basically the same lineup. There's just a fourth pig different. Com has a paratrooper. And uh, Borealis has a scout, the rest is the same, Meta Grenadier, Paratrooper, and F Scout for last. So it looks so, like that Borealis is going for a similar strategy to what I did when I played this map in my first match, which is to go scout heavy and play the poison game. I think the main reason the, the, the lineups are so similar, and we're gonna see them very similar even in the other maps, uh, is that this is a very particular set of three maps. We have two very, very barren maps, especially Nightwatch, the second one. And then we have a, a complete mess that is Field Hospital for third. Field Hospital mess is a, is a complete understatement from my understanding. Because that map is just building buildings and... Well, it was building buildings upon buildings originally, but... It's mostly healing guys, which is what it is, isn't it? Yes, and I do like the idea on paper, but it's just... A, it, it, it needs to be a little bit nerf. That's what the... Uh... Mm. And of course, much, here, the main important thing is that uh, Borealis is going first, and he's gonna collect the two most important crates of the entire map. I mean, maybe the health crate as well? Oh, he's leaving the health crate. Well. Oh, time management. The on a, uh, on a, uh, on an orderly. I'm not so sure about TNT and... Uh... And uh, the heavy M gun, considering you're mostly gonna be. Is he gonna get it off? He Wait. does! Wait. Com has oh. a medic. Why did, he, why did he not go for the medic? He probably didn't have time to get it. That was yeah, but at why. that point, you definitely did. Oh, point! He can heal that off now, because that was the grenadier he got. Yeah, that's why That's why the MOMA is a meta, because if, if both medics are in first, you need to go for the medic. Um, is Tom going to fix that though? Or is he forgotten about it? Uh, maybe. I don't know. He, I, he seems to be, he wanted to be that, have that crate, but I think he's overshot his ability to have enough time to do something. Oh, he forgot about healing! That's a big mistake! Oh, that's, that's a, a probably a big mistake there, because now. Borealis' Grenadier is going to be able to do some big damage here. Yeah, that's a gigantic mistake. He went for the heal, which I can understand, but... Okay, uh, I'm assuming he did... Like Tom was just trying to hog all the health on his, uh, orderly to me. Yeah, I think he... Uh, let's, let, let's assume, I, I think that's what happened. Uh, he tried to go for the heal, he overshot his ability to time management, and just... Didn't forget about the heal, he just realized he wasn't going to have time. Although he could have probably had enough time. So let's see here, we got the Grenadier going after the scout. I don't like the angle of that land, that's going to be pretty I don't like it oh. either. Yeah, I was going to say that as well. So these two guys are, are a very rocky start right now, because the, the nerves is. seem to be playing... Next, I just want to say this now. When, you, when I see terrain like that, and I'm using the Grenadier, it's positions like that is why I usually go for the high explosive, because I can't guarantee myself to get a good cluster off with terrain like that. Well, that's uh, that's a, that's another interesting thing to me, because you play on Parsec, so... 
Uh, you, you actually pray through Not our... Not that big of a delay because I'm with Nez, who is relatively close to where I live. I know, but uh, from experience I can tell that clusters have that kind of uh, problem because they norm they lag normally within the game that that's not even accounting for parsec issue but uh, we can see borealis is finally getting some good damage out with uh, a paratrooper that was managed uh, just managed to bunch up medic and grenadier that's a pretty big damage and a very good uh bazooka shot there so that's really dangerous medic that turn let's see if Colin can return the favor let's see I did like the, the position of uh, Borealis' Grenadier, because he is safe under there from jetpacks. Yep, that was a smart move. He can still get... Is he right under, or is he side, he's side on? So he's still going to be vulnerable, unfortunately. Yeah, but once he's pushed further in by the first jetpack, he can't be... Nothing much can be done. Alright. I was going to say, if I was calm, I would definitely go for the Medic instead, because yeah, of that. That's... That's his protected grenadier. He's still going for it, though. Yeah, he's still gonna get some damage out. Now he needs to ch chuck a bazooka in there. Going for that's okay. a pretty low. I'm gonna be self damage for sure. But a 38 yeah. on the grenadier. I was not expecting that high. Damage to a grenadier. That's at least all you can get. What's going to come up next with the scout? We're expecting to see poison gang come into play with these guys. I expect I'm expecting a double on the grenadier and the medic because that would be an amazing play. You see, with no health rates left on the field, if you see the, po the medic get poisoned, then it's a dead man walking, guarantee. He's gone for the double. Yeah, that's uh, that's basically follow the trail, literally. And, and be that's careful not to bounce off the grenadier. Because that's happened a fair few times this league, I've noticed. Players yep, angling it wrong uh, and bouncing off the first unit. That's why you, when you go for a double poison, you should always aim for the last pig. Because you that, that way you you prevent yourself from bouncing on the on the first one. Um, I don't know what to say right now, because... I don't know. Th this is not going to work. This... That's not going to deal any damage, I don't think. I guess the, the question is, was that a 13? Because if it is, he can kill him. It was exactly it was 13! What? Whoa! What? Wow, no, 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 no. You're a crazy... You're a crazy man. You didn't get any damage. No! Wasted jetpack! He's just yeah. gonna have to do a flat bazooka that gets in there. It's not that hard, to be honest. That's a bit too yeah, low not still. That hard, but you just need to make sure you get your power absolutely spot on. Perfect. And perfect. You get it. The grenadier is down. Once again, uh, Com shows us what I think is my favorite thing about his style of playing. Outside of the box thinking that he he just doesn't he just doesn't have the kind of experience that most uh, uh, competitive player have, and therefore he just thinks about moves in a different way. That was the perfect turn to show off the pros and the cons of that. Like, the first jetpack was downright genius, in my opinion. The second one was definitely an overshot. I definitely would never afford to do that first jetpack, so kudos for him for thinking of being able to pull that off, and getting it, too. So we get a... Yeah, double, double from... from Borealis, but... At least he gets another poison off, and he still has the... No, wait, the medic's been... Uh, uh, Turned around, great, yeah. So... Reverse, Medic has been turned around. Uh, oh, wait. Uh, now the, the, the turns are over. Right, 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 right. So now, after this turn, Borealis' Medic will skip. And then Com will get a shot, a shot with his Grenadier. There's nothing Borealis can do about that. If, of course, Com... Oh, actually, no, that's not true. The Medic will go first. Uh, for Com because it's uh, not trained. Yeah, but so Borealis' is medic is here. Borealis' is medic will go first, but he is all he or he's still trained from the first one. So basically, and that will be. Oh a my move. God, that was a gangster no move of, of that termination. That would have been bad if it went over. That was a gangster move, because I, I honestly thought the medic was outside of reach of that poison, so it was just a very, very high risk of poisoning his own grenadier there. 
here we go. We see the uh, orderly heal in that Grenadier. One turn too late, but no matter. And we should be seeing him. He's gone. Is it mines that drop him first? I can never remember. Yes. They are. Yes. That's per that's a pretty important crate on this guy. And very dangerous as well. Medics with mines are incredibly powerful. I will say. I will tell you that. Uh, if I were calm, I would not go for the trank on the medic. I'll tell you why. Because the medic has just taken his turn. If you could find the next pig on Borealis' lineup, you could trank him and guarantee your Grand your turn. Now he's going for it anyway. On the other hand, they're, they are very close to each other now. So if Borealis wants to kill the, the Grand... Oh, he can't because he's out of jetpacks. And he's yeah, also going to have to damage his, his medic, so I think that, yeah, that's a good call. He has to go for someone else. The Grenadier is a lost cause by now. Yeah. So, Bor Com has got uh, absolute control over Borealis' medic at this point. And yep. both pigs are dead men walking, and now Borealis is forced to go for a unit he doesn't want to target. Well, primarily exactly. target. Exactly, yeah. That's a, that's a very frustrating situation, I can tell, as a, as a player. I don't think this is a good place to do a flat shot, mate. That's a very long distance to cover. Oh, but he gets it off. Yep, very good shot. And my biggest concern was actually the body block on the medic. That's a huge mistake for me. Yeah. Um. Well, yeah, this... that medic is going to go down on its own. It's already poisoned. Yes, but he's on still 70-something health. And... By positioning yourself next to him, the pig that just took his turn, that means that Borealis will have to wait to, to attack him. And that 70 isn't going to go down alone. So Pom is now figuring out which is the best option, yeah. but I think the only target is that scout there. He's gonna try the Probably same thing that Borealis fine. did. It's potentially easier, right. but I'm, I'm still scared. And that's perfect! Ooh. And... Did it... No, the barrel did does it... nothing. Don't worry about it. the barrel. And was a wow, skip! Wow, those barrels really do have, uh, no, uh, uh, blast radius, do they? So not only Calm managed to hit, fire that grenade kinda perfect, but he also managed to get a skip turn out of it. And I have no that idea how much, really how that dangerous. scout... Calm is in such a powerful position this game. Yeah. And, and Borealis went first. Uh, yeah. th like, the, the main thing I was talking about earlier with these uh, this set of maps is... This is a very... Uh, a, set of, a set of maps, uh, two very barren ones and a crazy one at the end, that usually is a pretty predictable setup for a 1-1. But right now, the biggest mis the, the mistake from, from Borealis at the beginning, at the very first turn with the Medic, is turning it around. It's turning the trope around. Yeah, absolutely. It was a mistake, I think, early on going for both the TNT and the heavy machine gun. I would have just gone straight for the mines and then tranked the uh, enemy medic. I think the, the big mistake, though, wasn't collecting the crates. I think it wasn't immediately checking where the medic was, because I think at the end... It did take a lot of time uh, to make his first move, to be fair. Like, a really long time. Yeah, the, the, the biggest thing for me is, was, like, he was going for the Grenadier like it was the Medic. Like, it was very confusing to me. So, I, I am assuming either he, uh, for some reason, got them swapped out in his mind, which I, I'm assuming, like, like, that can happen. Or he just completely forgot to, to check where the Medic was at the beginning of his turn, and just went for that pig hoping that it would be the Medic at the end, when he realized he didn't have to, enough time. Regardless, that's definitely... Possibly cost in this match, most likely. But uh, he's doing pretty here, good with the poisons, and uh, Commas Medic can only heal so can only do so much healing. Yeah, he's got almost all of his opponent uh, poisoned by this point, apart from just the Grenadier and this Paratrooper. But that poison. So there's the not medic a lot was... that Com can do to offset all that poison, unfortunately. Yeah, but the uh, health might win it for him because uh, th that poison on the Medic was just too important too gosh darn important like i know that um as a friend of com i am obviously biased i mean that's there's no reason to uh um hide that but i just 
have never seen someone play like he does. He just takes what seems like unnecessary risks, which turn out to be great moves. Yeah, I think I think we can all agree to that now. Common's played amazingly well this league. In all fairness, he's been fan he's done a really good job. So now, yeah, that medic is de literally a dead man walking now because he's just taken his turn. He's taken the first, the, the second skip actually, and uh, he yeah. ju Com just needs to take care. Take care of the light, the lineup list, and look at it when the medic is going to have a turn, and just go there and knife him. Yeah, easy melee uh, kill there. Nothing else you need to do, unless of course it's with the uh, the paratrooper, in which case better off going for a machine gun. Yeah. Um. Because cattle drop will just KO him. So now, look at this. What did I say the, uh, earlier about the, this uh, this body block being a bad idea? Yeah, now he's stuck. He's going for the head jump. He's not gonna get enough out of it. He, he's not gonna get an, an, ten head jumps in forty-five seconds. It's barely possible to do five and thirty. So at this point, his best option is to body block up against the scout and then just use a bazooka shot to uh get this this orderly down to a uh, size. Yeah, there, there's no just way to avoid. There's no way to avoid the last rank, and there's probably no way to avoid another cluster. I think this game is this game is already over. It looks that way, yeah. And there it is. 40 damage onto the orderly. And I think it's fair to say that this orderly will take his turn, take the damage, but he's gonna be able to heal back one of his other units. Yep. Um, and most importantly, and then, again, if he if he tranquilizes the next I wouldn't be surprised if he then uses a, uh, he's got the TNT. I wouldn't be surprised if he then uses the TNT to do a kamikaze and avoid the skip turn. The best thing to, the best thing to do, in my opinion, with, uh, with this, uh, with this medic is tranquilize and body block someone and then hit them both with another pig. That works as well. Good point. I didn't think of that. And I don't know. I, I'm not checking the lineups right now. I'm assuming. Oh, I, this this guy even has mines. Oh, mine, he's got it. Oh, no, he's going to rocket launcher. Rocket launcher himself into space. <laughs> that that <laughs> that orderly has taken lift off. I'm surprised he didn't get the heal though. I mean, forgetting the heal is a common disease. <laughs> Come on, grunts. Oh no! But he yeah. forgot that the medic was next. That's potentially... I think the skip I... is... Oh, yeah, two points. So with that happening, the skip is now even less likely to happen. I wouldn't say that is a thing. I mean, I, I think this game is already too... It's just too late for, for Boreali. He's gonna have to trank the Grenadier, 100%. I'm just trying to think about what units... Yeah, all he's got left is the paratrooper and the and this orderly, so that's pretty much game over. Oh, hmm. interesting. Oh, oh he's okay. Going for an insta kill here. Oh, uh, buddy. no, that's not gonna do it. That's not gonna do yeah. it. I use the rifle burst to push him into the mine. Or even the heavy machine gun. She does have that. That's a good point. It did work. Oh my god. Whoa! <laughs> Whoa! Impressive! Impressive indeed. It actually worked at all. Uh, now it's 3v1. I don't know the health of that paratrooper. He's... I think he's very high. Hmm. I can't remember either, but... Yeah, with a 3v1 like this, I think it's fair to say that Bore else is down. He's full health. Yeah, he's full health, and uh, two the other two pigs from Com's lineup are poisoned, so I don't... It's not over yet. I will say that, because... Not over, over, but you would assume that Com's got this one. You would assume, but uh, yeah, look, um, look at how he does this. I this is... I don't believe in this move because of that. Uh, yeah, I get but what he's trying to do, but I would never do that. I would never try and do a, a risky uh, heavy machine gun to avoid a shot like that. Okay, so... Hmm. Com needs to do the math right now. Because... If Borealis does it better, he can take this game back. 
Because of the two Absolutely. because of the two perfect shots. Yeah, he is next. And a body... Not a lot he can do to uh, avoid, avoid the body the, block. Uh, okay, but I would just go for a, a machine gun that tr hits him. Yeah. It's both of them. Both sides very... as well, so that you don't. Uh, you you so need that scout, sir. You, you, you absolutely need. Scout. You absolutely need to avoid damaging that scout. That is a just is a huge mistake. Yep, that scout is going to be going next. So if that scout takes too much damage. It could potentially be a skip. Yeah, that's no a good move. Mind. Yep, he's going. He's going to do it again. Gun. You can just hit him from the front in no, a way he... that. Oh, he just the it's just same off. Thing happened. It's just off by a little bit every time. And that scout is now on 65. No way to make skip. him skip. Uh, unless... Does Wait, he have some extra weapons? Oh, is it just all the normal weapons? I don't, I don't know. I don't remember. I think he only has bazookas. So... Wait, 65? Yeah, he's on 65. There's no reason to. I mean, unless he has that rocket launcher that I forgot about. Or the TNT, or did the other paratrooper pick that up? I can't I think, remember. I think Com picked everything. Oh, yeah. wait, the TNT's been playing. I just remembered. Going for yeah. it anyway? Com it, Com's other paratrooper has it, so... It's been placed, actually, I just realized. It was placed by the, uh... By the orderly. Well, the thing is, the other paratrooper from Com has a lot of other things as well. Uh, yeah, so I a think... lot of stuff. He's done... Yeah, Air just go for the 40. And that's and be enough. Is the other paratrooper on on how much? The comms paratrooper? Uh -oh. uh, the the one poisoned and, and with all 30. the stuff? Uh, I think this guy's let's... on 110, I think. Oh, 48! This can, this can still oh be one! God. Holy cow! No he needs way! A... Hold on, he needs a 38. That's been a one of shot, but at the 36! No! Game over! Hold on, wait, wait, wait. Close. Wait, 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 wait. Oh. oh my god, why are you going for anything other than the heavy machine gun? Okay. Airburst. doesn't matter. Oh that was my god. A, that was ridiculously close in the end. I'm surprised that that managed to come down to the wire. Yeah, we need to recollect ourselves. As you can see, Com won with two soon-to-be-dead pigs. <laughs> oh my god! Yeah, that, uh, that was a... No in that position? That was a screamer. And, well, there there's would be a, a, a thousand answers to that question. But uh, we're going to answer them later. We're just going to take a break, and we'll see you guys in map two. And we're back. We have game two raging up, quite literally. Uh, Com is bringing medic, para, supper, double scout on night watch. Boreal is bringing virtually the same team, just a gunner instead of the second scout. Are all the others the same? Yeah, medic, para, supper, scout. Yeah, okay. And oh, Com, we yep. forgot to tell them Com has to go first. Uh well, there you figure it out. Yeah. Yeah, hopefully they figure it out. They should know by now. I'm going to just yeah. send Com a message. So he knows the and the game is underway. And I'm yeah, still so... buzzing after that last game. I don't know about you, but I'm still buzzing after how close that was in the end. Yeah, uh we actually talked to the guys and uh uh, Borealis was really, really mad at himself for that shot, but, uh, the funny part is that he doesn't know he's already qualified. Yeah. So. Thanks to, uh, what happened with the Chris and, and I remembered, and did they do the voices as well? I missed it. Uh, no, they didn't do the voices, but they'll, they'll figure it out. Yeah, hopefully they do, because otherwise it's just gonna be a lot of dead air if they don't turn those off, because it's file free. So, right yeah. now, this is the situation. I remember. Um... Chris and Herowich are tied for 6 points in Group B. Com is also on 6 points. So if he wins this match, he'll reach Borealis at 9. 
therefore, Hero Witch and Chris both need to help hope that Borealis turns us around. Otherwise, Absolutely. it will be Com to qualify with Borealis. And if he wins 2 0, Com is winning the group. Absolutely. This match could very well determine this game, sorry, could very well determine the whole outcome of this match. That, ugh. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I saw that annoyingly, uh, Com had to wait for the entire cycle of names there. He jo was just watching Hair Dry's name for five seconds, just hoping that it would show it in him that he is the, the orderly. Yeah. Yeah, look. It's often a good idea to try and remember uh, what the names or what names correlate to which uh, units as well when you're playing against the, your opponent, or at least pay attention to the HP because that can be a giveaway as well. If you see 130, 120, or 150, you know it's not going to be the orderly. Find, yeah, I think the uh, Borealis is one and Trank's him easy. Yeah, uh, the gunner was on screen on camera for a second, so I I think Com figured out that was the orderly without even uh, having to actually check for the name in the end. Uh, so, Gom's going right up for those uh, health crates early, getting a bit of buffer health. Yeah, um... It looks like he's going to be dropping the jetpacks all onto this sapper. Or at least a one or two. Potentially. I think he's trying to push him towards the water is what he's actually trying to do. Yep. That's yeah, that, I, I, would I would definitely go for another jetpack. Although that canal is definitely not a great source of water damage unless you have like a uh, usual trick of the flamethrower a bazooka is always going to push it over if you don't do this our an way awkward that's position sure, but, but he ironically him up and a little uh, damage yeah ironically that worked somehow uh, i mean the sapper is down to almost half of his health now so he'll look a turn let's see what borealis does in turn does he yeah. completely retaliate, or... I think he's going to target the para. I think he's going to collect the crate for now. No, okay. My mistake. No. Nope. Is he going for the, to separate the medics? I think I that's what he's... I don't think now's the right time to do it. Because that puts your own orderly in danger. No, okay, he's going that's, for the para. That's already a second guess I got wrong in one turn. That's not good. I don't know how to anticipate his move before it even actually happened. That's how my brain he's works. He's running out of time. He's just got to go for the bazooka and hope he can hit him. Wow, that's nice. That's a 40. bullseye. Right on his neck. <laughs> Let's see. Because I'm honestly trying to find a way to, to say... Uh, how this map is kind of boring. <laughs> I don't know. It's just it, it's uh, it, Honestly, go, it goes. I really don't see how it's that much different to the normal root canal. I mean, it's got some buildings, but that's about it. I th Not for me, it, really for me, it, it lacks the crates that make root canal interesting. The buildings are cool. Mm. I'll give him that. But uh, if you if you could have like a, a mixture of the two, it would be good. It's just like it brings me back to uh, the early league stuff where we had a ton of map that just had nothing in it and yeah, uh, once again great that work by pin on making that era finish with giving us a lot of great yeah. maps so i generally think that uh that if we probably combine both root canal and night watch together with the buildings and the abundance of crates this could be a really damn good map to play on i reckon yeah the, the problem is i i can vouch for, for pin on that one it's Definitely uh, not that easy as combining these thing these things. It's just the spaghetti code of Hogzor, as he continuously we all know refers that the spaghetti to. Code of God, spaghetti code of Hogs is a complete nightmare to understand. So, kudos to Pim for being able to give us these maps and amazing uh, new things to play on. In, uh, even so much with that. Yeah, we have uh, 34 maps right now, and the the base game can only contain 24. Just that's that already is just amazing. That is impressive. That is really good. A testament to uh, what we, what the community is able to produce now. 100. percent Meanwhile, uh, is he onto this oh, para? Is he going ooh, to that's a do, big he's spin. He's going for a bit of a swim here. It's not going to be a drowning though. Five damage. Oh. 
Yeah, um... That's not bad for Com to be honest, though, because uh, a kill and anything above 15 would have been worse for, for you know what reason. Yeah. And I'd be careful about going up the back here, because there are a lot of easy out of bounds, bounds insta kills up in this area. Yep, I made sure to let Com know that, because I, I don't even want to pretend I didn't, because uh, I, I hate th that mechanic, so I don't want anyone to be uh, a victim of it. I fell victim to a victory in the practice match with Borealis. He just, he counterproed my uh, scout when I was, I think we were about even at that point, but then he counterproed my scout up into one of those positions, detonated me straight away, and I was like, yep, yeah, that's it, game over. What, what is Com doing? <laughs> like, I don't know. Just, 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 just the idea of just bypassing that tree by angling it up and not just moving a little bit to the right is just insane to me. I can see he was trying to go for the double, but that was not the way to do it, I think. That was a bit awkward. Um, I mean, he did get the first the, the first one, and that's good enough when he's controlling the MoMA, so... There is that. So let's see, Borealis can finish off that, uh... Paratrooper, or he can... Oh, now, that's a very good I double poison. I'm leaving him. You can get up there? I didn't know that. Yeah, you can. Uh, very good double poison here. Very far away from the medics, and even if uh, the medic w came here to heal, he can only heal one. Oh, got him! Nice! So, if I were calm, I would definitely try to push every single one of my pigs towards the medic side, so that it can be easily healed. Yep, get this guy over there and... uh. Uh, plug it in a few uh, poison gases of your own, because there's not I a lot I... that uh, could do when uh, he's when the moment is against him. Yeah, I mean, there's not really many targets except that scout on this side, so you might as well go there. Now he's gonna Ooh. snipe the sapper. sapper. Oh no! And he misses. Okay, that could be potential. A could potential start for a comeback for Borealis, cause. I think uh, Com was not... rightfully trying to set that guy up for a skip because he was on 83, so 43 is a very dangerous number. Or else go for a mortar here. I'm not. I think this is going to be a bit overlooking at that angle and distance. I don't believe this is going to be a good shot. Yeah, maybe yeah, damaging his zone a little bit. Right in the middle of the two. Nah. Yep, call that one easy. Hmm. So, yeah, Com made one mistake in not going to the other side and two mistakes in. Missing the shot, of course, but... Yeah. Oh, he's gonna Hopefully collect miss, so what I think not. is a heavy machine gun. Yeah, double. I think it's two, isn't it? Two heavy machine guns. Oh, and he's going that way. Smart, well, smart. To make it back yeah. easier to, to the medic. That's the way you, go on, you can go on this map. So, he's not gonna go for a heal. He's just going to... Yeah, with 20 seconds, I think there was no reason to go for a heal. The only viable heal was the 5 health paratrooper, and 25 would have been worse. <laughs> Good point. Because you could just poison the guy and he would be down yep. next turn. Yeah, you need to be very Maybe careful with any number between 16 and 28, I would say, because then you are still subject to head jumps, possibly. Yeah. Head jumping is probably the one thing that's going to absolutely crucify a low health unit. I guess that's the last of the uh, jetpacks on the sky. Well, that's why it's a good mechanic for me, because it only it, it's only guaranteed when it's like one or two head jumps. When it just it's just five or six, it already becomes a little bit tricky. You need to plan out, maybe do it in multiple turns, stuff like that. I think the only thing about the poison tick uh, that I personally don't like is that it happens at the start of the turn. Prob or that could just be me being used to how it works in worms, where it's at the end of the turn. Okay, I can see that as a potential... Oh, that Whoa. was unlucky. Unlucky for Com. Uh, oh, but no, he's not next, so I thought he was next. Not next, but there is still a chance for a skip there. Unless a paratrooper now moves, which... Oh, now that's gonna be the separation. Okay, so Borealis potentially... Uh, intentionally, sorry about the repetition. Uh, brought the paratrooper closer in the first turn, so they could do this now. If that is the case, that's a very good play. That is why he has done that. He's going for the second one. That's all and the jetpacks gone. 
And I think that's a bunch oh, up. Yeah, no, that's not. A bazooka here? Yep, yeah, he's going for a bazooka shot. Honestly, I don't like the idea of consuming all the jetpacks right now, because that 5 HP paratrooper would have much needed that one. Yeah. Unless he's intentionally leaving him there just in case. I guess so. I mean, not killing yeah, a paratrooper. Like, there's not a lot he can do. He can't go really that far. Yeah, the and the sapper is next. You have to be very. Go. You ha you're, 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 uh, are you I really going for seven head, 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 head jumps, my man? There's no way no, this could work. Do a safe. Uh... Mm. Nah, he's going for it. That's just doing more damage to yourself. Yeah, he you just. Get you just. Off. You just locked yourself out of that one, my man. Yeah, Unless you pull off a crazy shrapnel that just does nine, which is possible, but. I think he's. Oh, he's going for. The, the gun he... that's never gonna reach. Going? That's not gonna reach. Okay. Yeah, I that no was just. That uh... was. Yeah, that was just a misplay. He tried to think about too hard about what to do with the sapper to here. Yeah, so there was a missed chance there for a, uh, for a skip turn. So I think we're going to see a detonation, most likely. Ooh. Uh, Interesting. Yeah, that's a... Whoa! Whoa! Okay. How much was that? It was definitely at least 70 on himself, which made the pig detonate on the spot. And I think I remember that pig being on 140. Or something, so that could have been uh... roughly so. Wait, but uh, the seventy the, damage. That's a the big the burst. detonation. The detonation would have made more damage. So yeah, maybe it was a fifty plus the detonation of the pig. I think that's what's the case. Could have been for all we know. One second, my dog's whinging. Oh, I think you gotta go a little bit to the left for that one. Um, this game is still very much open, because now the medic game is basically open. And now we're going for the uh, poison onto the enemy medic, and that is something I can approve of. If you get your enemy medic poison, it's a dead man walking. That's something I'm always striving to get if I can. I mean, when your enemy is con uh, controlling the MoMA, literally the only thing you can do with poison is poison the medic. I mean, okay, not literally, because you can do doubles and the medic would be forced to heal just one. But you don't know. Don't stand there, don't stand there. He remembered. Ooh, that's a double oh, one waiting to happen. Well, that is a vulnerable position, but uphill, that's going to be awkward. Um, I need to get lineups next to me. Because I, I need to know. Oh, get them! Enemy scout is up next. Yeah, so Com will get a chance to heal somebody, but Borealis is doing very good with very good with the with the poison game. He's poisoning almost every one of of Com's pigs on site. Even in the previous game, he almost pulled it back thanks to that. That really helped in the poison games. Uh, or is Com doesn't Borealis... seem to really be open for the poison game. Or at the very least, he he's uh, a bit slow with it. Hmm. Because he did poison the medic, but that's about it. Okay, yeah. We uh, going for the para? He opts out of it. He needs to do something. Gonna go for and the medic. Just I get think. The sniper rifle off. That is, I think, a good move. But the problem is now there. I think there's three of poor Com speaks very close to each other. Four, potentially, if you count yeah. the paratrooper that's slightly off. They're very close together. Hmm. Although, the medic from Com is next, so the only possible... I don't approve of this shot, Borealis. A flat one to the sapper. That's probably going to be ground. Twenty. Twenty. If he had hit the water and it bounced up, it probably would have been forty, actually. I think I the... The, the idea was to... What What is happening? Are you really going to... No, where is he going? 
Are you only going no, to? Mate, no, you can't get around there and deal with your and deal with the other medic in that amount of time. You I think you can. It. You just need to cross over with a uh, with a little bit of swimming. But uh, the point is, why would you heal the the farthest pig away when there's I think two other poison pigs right next to you? I really don't get this move. This could be ab this could potentially change the dynamic of this entire match. Just yeah, this could across. spell disaster for Kami. He needs to get a trank away in time. I think he has the t enough time to get it. He can't see the medic. The medic though. He can see and he, he can does get, get him on the buttocks. Only just does. And the medic is on 14, tranquilized and poisoned, which means that if Borealis does nothing to him, he's keeping again. Absolutely. At this point, you're probably going to be thinking about getting those head jumps off on that medic just to uh, bring him down the side and so you don't get that skip. But once again, the big problem from Com is the position. There's too many of his pigs bunched up around the medic. The only path positive that Com's got at the moment is that Borealis' sapper is down. So the big blast damage is out of the question. And he still got that, his, but the thanks to the that. can still do some big damage in blast ra radius areas if he gets them yeah. right. He still got his sapper, which, uh, thanks to that, uh, pretty brave healing. But uh, Borealis still has a lot of a lot of health, and I think that's uh, gonna be shown by the bar when we see it. This power trooper hasn't even been touched. Yep. But I think he's out of jetpacks, which is a good a good um, indication of leaving him off. Hmm. As you as you saw in the previous game, the, bar the power trooper is kind of a worst possible pig to deal with body blocks. Yeah. It's not really a good unit in the late game, let's be fair. I mean, it's only Scout got is. a Calprod, a machine gun, and a bazooka. A scout is the best don't... best unit for uh, late game, 100%. Does get a 38 on the scout, one... but he does get nothing on the medic, which I think is what he was going for. Okay, the bar yeah, says so... that somehow yellow is a bit more. What? That's... I think it might be because of how many units uh, Com still has versus Borealis. But that's... I, I mean, that has to be some of his scouts... A couple, at least one of his scouts is very healthy, because... Uh, Borealis still has a 90 health scout, uh, 100, per, 100 HP gunner, which is about to go down, but still. Uh, yeah, and then 130 paratrooper fast. as well, so that means that, again, Com scouts must be very healthy. It had to be. I think this is another one that's gonna come down to the wire, to be honest. I think it will. Uh, very nice TNT by Com there. Managed to Whoa. get up to 74 damage with that one. That was a very good one. Uh, Borealis needs to know how much each scout has, because they're both poisoned, and that's gonna come into play sooner or later. Unless he leaves a medic with another turn, Don't which he's not going to. Grenade launcher here. Interesting choice. For the medic, it would make sense because he's on 36. But uh, I think it's a bit too early for that. Yeah. Good choice on the body block on the 5 Good HP power trooper. Oh, get it, get it though. Wait, is the medic the next? Is that can be head jumped out. And he hasn't dealt with his own uh, orderly either. Yeah. I wouldn't even go for body for for head jumps to be honest. I I don't know. I think we, until Borealis deals with his own medic, I think Com is okay with. Uh, uh, I think I know what Com's gonna be doing here. He's probably gonna just put some damage into this gunner, take him out, get the skip on the uh, orderly, and that leads him down to just the para. Oh. Uh, uh. Okay. Uh, I mean, if he Still can get dead? if he can get another head another couple of head jumps, he can poison him. But I don't think that's a good move. He, uh, he needs to be very fast first of all. Yep, and this is last one. No. This is the last one. So if he gets this poison down, I think. Oh, the gunner oh. would be next, wouldn't he? Oh. So yeah, very because. Cool. The... Yeah, because the gunner is fifth in uh, Coriolis's lineup, then it's the medic, so it's two skip turns in a row. That is a very powerful reversal. 
Uh, but the problem is, he would skip too if he doesn't do anything about the medic. Well, he could probably just damage him uh, in any way he wants, because it's not going to really matter that much. Yeah, I don't think he can do anything at this point. He just needs to deal damage and hope that it's enough to deal with the other pigs, because now his, poor, his guys are not so healthy anymore. Another sniper rifle. I'm surprised he's not trying to uh, pressure Borealis with more poison to get things done quickly. I agree, because that... God, that Parasuper is going to do a lot of turns from now until the end, so it would have been a very a good move to poison him. And that also leaves behind a heavy machine gun for uh, or else to pick Super, up. Which, which is kind of good, especially for late game. If, those uh, are mines, I believe, aren't they? Are they? I think oh, so. Got... I have a vague memory of there being mines on this field. I'm surprised they just don't go for it once they fail the first time, though. Yeah. Okay, that's body block. You can't go for him. Gotta go for the sapper. And he's on Does. 70, so no possible kill. I think that's going to be the last turn that the sapper gets. Most likely. And is... No, no extra water damage, unfortunately. I was looking at the shots, actually, to see, to catch if one would potentially reach the other scout on the other side. <laughs> I don't think that was going to happen, unfortunately. It's a lot... It goes a long way, but uh, not that mm. far, unfortunately. Yeah, it's, uh, it's very hard to plan out for both of these. I think... I think Borealis might still be ahead just because of the fact that the comms pigs are poisoned and he's a very yeah, healthy I think there is much to, to consider but with the 4-2 uh advantage that com has and the fact that this paratrooper is still somehow alive it's still very close to call i reckon did you see what happened there by the way com put him in a way that would be potentially harder to make head jumps on. That was that a very a good very move. good positioning. Yep. Yeah, he's trying to go for the head jumps, can't get him off. This is this is one you need to bank sometimes on. You need to just have your opponent frustrated over something like that. And oh, that scout is on fit is on fifty five though. If you damage him like that, I think he's gonna get another turn. He's gonna get a chance to kamikaze. Enough. I, yeah, think I think I remember him was... being on 55, I think. And Let's now we can just deal big up. damage. Ooh, okay, we took a little bit. Uh, is he going to check? Might do. Yeah, good, good, good point. Yeah, I think this is a good move. Just damage no, the paratrooper. Just damage the paratrooper. You need to damage the paratrooper. He's going to go straight for our TNT. Or will he try a, a uh, shrapnel? No, I'm just going to go for TNT. Safe yep. damage. Makes perfect sense to me. Um, Schwein will be down to 40, which is one shot to kill. Uh, the scout is now down to 50, which is possibly another one shot to kill. And then Com is counting his turns. He knows that the poison is, is going to be ticking first, sooner or later. Also, fall damage and extra, which, Ooh, again, extra damage as well. doesn't that change even, much. That's even better for Gom. Yeah, but doesn't change much. 40 from 32 is this not that really... has to go. He's still got so much damage in him. Yeah, I don't like this, this move either. Him, I don't like the do body blocking. I do, like the, I do like the targeting of the scout, because the, the scout is still on 96 and need to be taken down. Some damage off, at least. Ooh, but uh, this th that one that one up there isn't the first scout for Com. It's the second, so that now Borealis can get a chance to do five head jumps, maybe. Unless, and that would be the ultimate play for me. Um, Com goes for the scout of Borealis, and since he's gonna be very low, he won't be able to do the head jumps, and that will essentially be game over. It looks like that's what he's going for. He's going for the scout. Lame throw. Oh, I think I know what he's planning. He's gonna that's not going to reach, though. That's too far away, I think. 
No, it, it is going I to reach, but I think this is a mistake. No, it's not going to reach because... Yeah, it, was never gonna yeah, it oh is my, going to oh, reach. But that's oh kill... God. That kills the scout. Okay, so this was a mistake that... in my opinion. Because I think Com thought that the scout would skip. But I think that scout was on 15. So what he ended up doing was to try to kill both. So it is very good move because he it did kill the scout as well. But in the end, I think a snipe would have been uh, just better and now it is game over regardless because this now, any of the approval of the play pro decision i would have done that m myself um that is yeah, game I over think it's, i think it's, agree that it's game over boreas is has lost his first match of of the grunt league and he's lost it two no um because i mean four pigs versus one that's one shot away from being killed i mean unless again Huge mistakes from Com, but I don't see it happening. Oh, that's a roller grenade, okay. A roller grenades? I thought they were mines. My bad. Going for a roller grenade anyway for the funny. Just get rid of this power that's been around for the longest time. I think that's the MVP of the match, to be honest. <laughs> this power driven that just hung around so much longer than they had any yeah. reason to. Okay, I think Calm still has a TNT. No, he doesn't. Okay, so this might not actually oh. be completely over. It's a 2v1, and... I don't remember how much the scout has. Um... I think he's... I think he's on about... I think I last check he was about 70 or something, so it's gonna be 60 next. 70, yeah. Yeah, um, there's I no way. Okay. There's no oh, way. Whoa! Well, he could just go for the run. Oh no, he's just doing the destination on himself. Like what? The... <laughs> Returning the favor from the start of, from earlier. That in the was match. actually quite risky, cause. He, what? I mean... No, he's got a two. How is he still alive? That is very. That is a very um, un, uh, not constant. Like what is it? Not consistent move. Oh. I think uh... it's, I think it's game anyway though. Although yeah, it is game if anyway. He can he can blast him into out of bounds. Let, let's not let's not happening. let's not call it yet, because Com can also still miss after this turn. No, there's no way that uh, that double out of bounds happens. Nah. Let's not call it yet, because I've yeah. seen moments like this happen, like these happen. I mean, this should in theory be a easy one. That's and, it. Yeah, easy. That is the match there. I did Whoa. not approve that that shrapnel there, cause uh, it it kind of gave Borealis another hope. But in the end, Com wins two 0 and takes the lead of Group B at the very end. And with that, he also confirms his qualification alongside Borealis in the playoffs. Yep. Unfortunately for Chris and Herowich, that is their demise. Um. I do want to say, though, to both of them, GG, because this, and I'm not saying this without uh, knowing what I'm talking about, this was 100% the toughest group we ever had in the history of Grunt League. Four very good players, and it's a shame that only two have to go through. Absolutely, I have to agree with that. I mean, I may be only in this Grunt League for the first time, but that's, this group has been full of some amazing players. I think there's an argument to be made that all four of the top players for this one could potentially be in there to probably go to middle league. That's that's definitely a thought I had. But uh, regardless, the rules say that two people advance from each group, and that means Com and Borealis are going to the playoffs. And let's go uh, tell them because I I honestly want to uh, console poor Borealis, who probably probably thinks he's out. <laughs> In the chat, but yeah, let's he, go tell them. Particularly with how damn close he was in the end on both games. No, I think it, the, the first one really bit him, though. And I, I can understand that feeling. But regardless, let's finish this. Uh, we are done from ADB95 and Clock Crew. That is everything. And see you guys next time. Ciao, guys.